And this is just is just a you know it's bait for the nerds because we've got the Dragon Daddy on. Uh, I read an entire op-ed about Captain America in mm-hmm. which this author Poor talks you. about. It was very. I'm going to write a response op-ed about the entire Marvel universe. Uh, you You're basically and, Piers Morgan now. <laughs> exactly. Um, but he was saying, I think it's a he, I assume, uh, that essentially there there needs to be a new role for Captain America, a new symbolism um, that the Captain America of fighting Nazis in the past or of like the Cold War even, you know, it doesn't hold up today and that a lot of the other characters in the Marvel universe don't treat this Captain like like it's like he's a hegemon of anything you know he's a he's a anyway i can't think of a good pun for hegemon but you know i would be a power order i would get back to you on that one pokemon at best (laughs) yes he's a pokemon at best exactly but definitely not a hegemon um (laughs) so we're gonna reimagine but with a lot of context from our from both Emily, who was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., mm. and John Iderola, who does like the Marvel Universe, we're reimagining a new Captain America. Okay. <laughs> who would be your Captain America? Not necessarily a person, but what kind of a person, and what powers would you give them, and what would they stand for? Hmm. Do you go John, does one? any of this ring true for you in terms of like sure. well, the I mean, the, changing the, role of, of Captain America? Definitely. I mean, the, the issue is that I'm assuming you did not watch Cap, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, right? It's all about that. <laughs> That's the whole point of the show is about what Captain America stands for, not only in the modern day, but for a black man to serve as Captain America. What does that mean that the legacy of patriotism and how the U.S. military has treated non-white soldiers and all of that. It's actually really fascinating, even if you don't like the MCU. Okay. Yeah. But um, no, I, I have I have a couple <laughs> oh of different God, ideas. <laughs> um, you do like the MCU. <laughs> I do like the MCU. But yeah, I, I don't I read was, comics or whatever, but I do like the MCU. I was going to watch the movie and I was like, oh, if it's a movie, I'll watch it. And then I saw it was a show and I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm it's tired. good though. Uh, you know, okay. uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus is in it. Oh, Come okay. On. Okay. That's a good selling point. So it's um, all about grappling with what what the role of a Captain America is. And are they yes. are they finding a – are they agreeing on something? Are they coming to a conclusion about what those values and what that could be? I, I mean, I don't want to spoil the whole thing, but yes, I think that there's an interesting analysis of it and they come to a conclusion. They contrast a few different ways that Captain America could manifest in the in the, the modern world. Mm-hmm. Um, but look, I think uh, if heroes are supposed to be able to do the impossible, I think an awesome Captain America would be one who has the power to even if briefly get the American people to care about what's happening in other countries. Mm-hmm. Like maybe he goes on TV and he just talks <laughs> about India or Colombia and like, mm-hmm. but like people care as if these were Americans they were hearing about. And maybe that's too fantastical, but I think that would be a, that would be a cool one. Like a just media like based a Captain map America. And be like, this yeah. is where India is. Yeah. This, this would be mm-hmm. Captain this America, the one. YouTuber. Um, yeah. He just makes videos about her or something that I, I would watch that. Yeah, it just starts over with America. It's like, how about we start educating people? Hey, mm-hmm. okay, cool. Let's let's build it back up on YouTube. We'll Captain America, the YouTuber, is getting demoted like crazy, dude. <laughs> that, that, that positivity yeah. does not fly on this platform. Uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> Or like, I think a cool Captain America. Maybe this is too like insufferable woke brat or whatever. But like, what if his power was he could get into people's minds? everybody simultaneously and get the, he'd go to a country and then he would get everyone to realize what that country would be like if america hadn't gone all america all over it i love that that's what i was that gonna say yeah, yeah. wow so i was gonna more say the, the power would be to deglobalize this country like you you just like no no more nike no more starbucks <laughs> at mom and pop shops come back and it's like you know it like you know a it's like the 90s never happened. Like undo NAFTA, undo the World Trade Organization. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. You know, because people like I have a friend who's from Poland and she like went back home and she was like, oh, 
it just looks like a strip mall of America. I haven't been here in a long time. Yeah. Um, I think we might have lost Emily for a we second, but I like that superpower a lot. Yeah, I'd watch that. They'd hate it, though. <laughs> they would totally hate it. Uh, by the way, a lot of the right wing didn't like this Falcon and the Winter Soldier. There was like one moment that had to do with cops like harassing like a black man and so they made like some sort of fake article saying that like 83 percent of all viewers had stopped watching at that moment that was literally a thing they tried to get people to believe was true <sighs> my god okay so either the falcon or the winter soldier is black falcon is yes falcon is and so it's like could a black man be captain america would would he want to be captain oh, america oh oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Would he take up that mantle? That's really interesting. Yeah. And they talk about sort of some analogies to how the military's uh, experimented on people, um, which obviously in the time of COVID, something people think about. Yeah, it was pretty good, actually. No vaccine is a military experiment, okay? No. It's, we're just, <laughs> we're getting pharma executives a third house, which we're going to come collect someday once someday. we get a socialist in the White House. Um I had a couple ideas of what I definitely like the deglobalizing power. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely think the that Captain America has to be an immigrant. Um, <laughs> Could it be Greta? Does it have to be an American? Actually, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. She's we trying to save her. America, not she, specifically, she, but she's yeah, she's done with us for sure. She's way too cool for America. But it'd be an immigrant, and I think that its superpower would be teaching other cultures how to like combine salty and sweet things. Because <laughs> it's is that a problem? The lack of that? Yes, no, mm -hmm. but it's the only thing Americans are actually really good at mm. is sweet salty combos and like breakfast food. So it'd be oh, like man. teaching you how to do that and like lots of syrup and bacon, that kind of situation. Now so I'm like getting Captain hungry. America is an international branch manager for Cinnabon. Nice. No, it's a deglobalized <laughs> future that I'm it's not about corporate globalization, okay. but he definitely doesn't fly because of that many snacks. I mean, he's that's true. He's uh, he's, on, he's on a rascal. He's on a rascal <laughs> and he's <laughs> large and in charge, but he's living his best life. Um, he'd also my Captain America would have the ability to lower the volume of American tourists <laughs> wherever they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, <laughs> that could be useful. Up. Did we actually lose Emily forever? I think, I think we might have. Um, oh, no. She was saying something about a power charger. So I think she's trying to fix it right now, probably. All right. Well, I like this. I mean, I love the idea, though, that like, because when Captain America first came out, I was like, I'm never going to watch this. First of all, one, don't like America that much. Sorry. I mean, it's my home, but like, mm -hmm. you know, done some bad things. Two, don't like superhero movies. Three, definitely don't like a super soldier. Like, who wants a super soldier? Like, that's what our actual that's, real life. That's the whole show. No, <laughs> but that's. That's the whole, that is what the military like is doing now. That's what like no, DARPA no, no, no. is funding now is Francesca. like giving, putting super soldier blood so that they have we killing machines who don't feel anything when they kill innocent civilians. Francesca, the whole show isn't super soldiers. It's questioning whether super soldiers would be a good thing. What does having that sort of power make you become? It's, it's, it is Francesca the show. You won't oh, watch on. it, but you wrote it, I think. <laughs> You've come up with the whole plot for this show so what without I'm knowing it. So what I'm saying is actually just the plot of the actual show that I should be Basically. watching. Yeah. God Did you like it. fall asleep with it on or something and now it's just incepted you? Yes. And I've That's also good. read an op-ed and I also, <laughs> this was an alternative to talking about our moms for the last 15 minutes of the show. Hello, friends. Hello. Hi, Emily. I'm so glad we have you back. And I wanted to ask you, if you had a Captain America to design, what would they be like? And what would their superpower be? And what would they stand for? So I would say Captain America in a perfect world would be Regina King from Watchmen. Um, <laughs> is that allowed? Can you just cross? Can you promote somebody? Sure. You... They probably sure. own it. Great. Great. So we'll just kind of transfer her out of that department and into the captaining of America. I think her <laughs> weapons would be, superpower would be 
getting people to uh, to see people's truths and broadcast them probably, you know, just only the truth, no lies. So she could see them, not just like a lie detector superpower, but like broadcast it well, out. Like project, yeah. like, project. like I never said that, like, zoop, yes. you know, like. Exactly, everyone can see it now. We got everyone, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that like, is shade. Yes, right. That is like receipt, that's like receipt lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and I think with that, probably some kind of pellet gun that shoots like um, micro doses of psilocybin, because I think people <laughs> just, we all just, we all just need to <sighs> connect. We need to connect these brain hemispheres, right? And just start to be able to think and not reject. And like you said earlier, you know, handle cognitive, cognitive, this is, Exactly. Uh, cognitive dissonance. <laughs> Dude, Analyze. if I feel like Ben Shapiro, that'd be the biggest waste of shrooms ever is <laughs> giving psilocybin <laughs> to Ben Shapiro. He he'd be like, I, I feel nothing. I have no idea what people want. Like I I I've taken every mirror out of my home. I've already done this. And uh I've had no revelations whatsoever. I don't know what people are talking about. Okay, and, so uh, <laughs> let's then we'll float you down a river. We'll see how you do. We'll just see what happens. My, my stomach hurts. I, I feel nauseous. I, is is that part of it? Yeah. No, okay. Look at the birds. Look at the birds. Everything's fine. <laughs> they're just they're just flapping. They have they have feathers. <laughs> They serve no purpose. <laughs> like, imagine, okay. let, 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 Shapiro's let getting better. <laughs> Have you become a patron yet? Patreon.com slash Bituation Room is where you can directly support this show and help me make it sustainable so that I can do more of what I do best. Doing this. <laughs>